Jesús, George Salomon es el, res, el responsable de la unidad de terapia focal de la Martini Clinic de Hamburgo. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the invitation. I was very pleased coming here. In matters of time, I skipped some slides. Of course, I got the micro ultrasound prior to three slides, so I will tell something about that. Anyhow, before you fall asleep, I would like to wake you up, and I am uh, some kind of provocative, so, but also diplomatic. I would like to say, uh, do we really need multiparametric MRI, do we need, do we need um, biomarkers? Why don't we use our tool, which we were used to work with a couple of years before the MRI came up, so it was the transrectal ultrasound. And I think it's changing right now that we are more getting into the ultrasound era rather than speeding up with the MR, but that's my personal uh, impression of how things will be. Before I start, I would like to um, encourage you to come to Amsterdam. I'm the chairman of the ISUI, the European Section of Urological Imaging. Uh, we have wonderful programs discussing all issues of imaging, not only prostate, but others. And now I would like to start. So um, the talk is about no more pirates, three lesions. So what, we can, what can we do? And I think the problem is that the radiologists are not good enough to, <laughs> to tell us the truth. So, um, Pride 3 means nothing. Uh, and Professor Hadashik at our last meeting in Barcelona from the ISUI stated that the amount of Pride 3 lesions defined by the radiologists should be lowered as a clear statement of which men to biopsy or not. And I think that's what. Dr. Futura also told us in the slides before. So how to manage pirates' three lesions? If we cannot have a clear statement, enhanced trust might solve the problem. I think that enhanced trust is not only micro-ultrasound, but other ultrasound modalities. Anyhow, the micro-ultrasound has in nowadays the great potential, I think. So we heard that multiparametric MI showed good results in prostate cancer detection. It's standardized and easy to use, and for us urologists, pretty easy to send a patient to them. Don't have work, just get the results. Don't do anything, don't do trust, just give it and get it back. But anyhow, we should take care about our tool, the, the transrectal ultrasound, just take more time to analyze or examine, do the examination with the patient by ourselves. So the MRI lacks of accuracy, and I will show you some slides, because this is very important. If you go to the literature and you see the results, the negative predictive values of 95% or 90%, uh, you have to have a clear look on that to see if it's the thing you think or not. I will show you. So we do have good alternate alternatives to multiparametric MRI or additives to multiparametric MRI. I wouldn't say that MRI is bad. It's very good because it's standardized. But I think we should or could do even better with transrectal ultrasound. So we heard that PIRATES3 is equivocal or indeterminate. That means uh, we do not know if it's cancer or not, so it doesn't help. So if we do multiparametric MRI, we got a PIRATES 3 lesion, we should do a biopsy because it's equivocal. We do not know if there's cancer or non-cancer. If we go to the literature, there are some publications out with uh, PIRATES 3 lesions which have been guided, biopsied, and for example, this publication showed a 93.5% benign tissue in the targeted biopsies. So if it would be like that, I would say the radiologist did a very good job. Don't do biopsies on pirate 3 lesions because I think we might overlook 6.5% of cancers if we uh, lower the amount of biopsies to take. If we go to another publication, uh, it's a little bit different. We got a 17.1% prostate cancer in pirate 3 lesions. 
and they defined the clinical significant prostate cancer as a Gleason higher than 3 plus 3. So going to the picture study, and this is what I said before at the beginning, the specificity of a pirate 3 lesion or higher is just 30%. And the negative predictive value is 68 or 69%. But if you look what's in the blue, you see the definition for that is a Gleason 3 plus 4 or higher. So that means no 3 plus 3. If you look at this one here, <coughs> you see the Pirates 3 lesion in red, the clinical significant cancer which is being detected if you biopsy Pirate 3 lesions. But the definition of clinical significant um, is different. So in this case, it's 4 plus 3. So I think there's more tumor than we expect in Pirate 3 lesions. So coming now to the topic of my talk, systematic biopsies are not enough. That We know that, therefore, we do multiparametric MRI, but multiparametric MRI is not enough as well, and therefore, we should do something in addition. We can do biomarkers, but I don't think that biomarkers will be sufficient, and therefore, we can do something else. We can do enhanced trust. At the moment, at the very moment, I think just the micro ultrasound is the only tool which has high potential. Anyhow, I will show you just a few slides, what we are doing currently, and which you might be in your future have contact with, which is a multiparametric ultrasound combining elastography or shear wave elastography and contrast enhanced ultrasound, but it's automized, so you don't have to do anything. You just put the probe in and everything will be done and you will get good results. Going back to the literature, there were some efforts being done to use elastography and contrast enhanced ultrasound and they um, increased the positive predictive value to 90% combining both methods and I think we will do even better. So we are running a study, 50 patients prior radical prostatectomy which have been analyzed with the system. It's a very difficult work because we have to analyze what we saw in the ultrasound and what we saw in the final histopathology, but I think the results will be very, very good. And if it will be not sufficient enough, I think if we use the micro ultrasound in addition to that, maybe we will, we will be better than the multiparametric MRI, or we will have 99% negative predictive value. So um, actually what we are doing is we are mimicking the M multiparametric MRI. So we are doing DVE, that's diffusion uh, weighted imaging, that's the shear wave. We are doing contrast, that's the, um, that's the contrast in multiparametric. And the resolution of ultrasound is much more higher in the normal 9 megahertz uh, ultrasound compared to MRI. But if you go to um, micro ultrasound, you, you saw the pictures, you have fantastic images and uh, you might be very satisfied with the results. So I skipped that in matters of time. Um, we saw the machine, the micro ultrasound. We see these beautiful pictures. Um, I will skip that as well. You have learned about primus, which is a definition like pirates. And I think in an hour learning time, that's amazing. We have the system in Hamburg. We had it before, now it's being reinstalled and we will work with it because we are confident that it will add a much information for not only the Pirate 3 lesions, but in total, even the neurovascular bundle you might see with it. So coming to the um, results of MRI and micro ultrasound comparison, you can see in the pictures here, the MR with lesions of pirate 3 lesion and the primus 4 and 5 and you see clearly, uh, well, I'm not actually the, the Swiss, Swiss cheese or Maji something. This is very complicated to learn for me, but anyhow, I think you get very used to it and you see there are differences in the texture and uh, so this is something I would biopsy on, and it's a Gleason 3 plus 4 at the end, so it was good biopsying this Pirate 3 lesion. If you would look to the 
manuscript I uh, showed you at the very first beginning where the uh, negative predictive value was like 94% because they, they found only benign or almost benign tissue in the PIR3 lesions, that, um, that's not believable. So this is the right thing to do. Now I'm coming to the <laughs> slide which was uh, rested for me. So um, what we have with pirates three lesions on multiparametric MRI, and if you see the overall pirate three lesions here, we got benign tissue and we got cancerous tissue in the pirate three lesion. And now this is the interesting thing: if we got pirate three lesions and we go to micro ultrasound, do the analysis, and define as prime as three or smaller than three, three or higher than three, you can see that the higher the primer score in this pirate 3 lesion um, spots is, the more likely they have cancer. And I believe that we can avoid maybe in the future biopsies in pirate 3 lesions if we do the primus, um, primus analysis and see whether we can avoid biopsies or not. And actually this is quite the same. You see the relative cancer detection rate it's rising, increasing with the primers getting up um, above three. So I'm coming to my end, so I got some examples. Anyhow, I will skip them because we don't have that much time. Um, so I will end up my talk now. I think we will have a very, very good opportunity now to use ultrasound in addition to multiparametric MRI at this stage, maybe in the future, we will not need a multiparametric MRI. Thank you very much.